In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Photoshop to combine two photos together and add shadows. In this example, I used this soccer goal and this soccer ball, and this is the finished product after I added a shadow to the soccer ball. Let's get started. First of all, go to Google Classroom and download these files. To download them, click on one, go to the top right corner, click more actions, open in new window, and then you have access to the download button. For students, this will automatically go to your downloads folder. So I will simply click save, then go back and get the other one. Here's the soccer goal. Up in the right corner, more actions. Open a new window. Download. And it goes to the downloads folder. Save. Now in Photoshop, I will go to File Open. Navigate to the downloads folder. Select my images and click open. And there they are. So I will use the quick selection tool to select the soccer ball. And if it's, I can see that there is an area right here where it selected part of the grass and I didn't want that, so if I hold down Alt on the keyboard, I can subtract the, gla the grass and make a better selection. Okay, Control C on the keyboard is copy. Go to the goal, and Control V is paste. V on the keyboard is the selection tool and I will move this down into the general area where I want it. Then I will hold down shift on the keyboard and use any of the four corners to shrink the soccer ball to a size that is proportionate with the rest of the image. And then when I like it, either hit enter or return on the keyboard or click this check mark to make those changes. Now I am going to add a shadow to this to make it look like it's part of the image. So I'm going to go over to my layers panel and if your layers panel isn't showing simply go to windows and from the alphabetical list choose layers and it should pop open. So in the layers panel I'm going to click layer one which is my soccer ball click it, hold it, and drag it to this button here, which is the copy layer button. So now I have two of those. I'm going to turn off the eye on the first one and click the second one to make it active. To select it, I'm gonna hold down control on the keyboard or command on a Mac, and then click right on this rectangle, and that selects the soccer ball. Now I'm going to fill that with black. Go to Edit, Fill. For content, choose Black and click OK. To deselect, choose Control or Command D on the keyboard. Now I will turn the eye back on so I can see the soccer ball that is above it. Now let's move the shadow, go to Edit, Transform, Distort. And what I'm going to do is grab these handles and I can see this shadow cast by the goal and I want to match my shadow for the soccer ball to the same approximate angle. So something kind of like that. And when you're finished, hit either enter or return on the keyboard or click the check mark. 
Now it looks much too dark, so what I'm going to do is select it in the Layers panel, find the Opacity option, and I'm going to move that until the opacity of this approximately matches the opacity of the other shadows. And to me, right around in this 40-ish uh, area looks good. Now the next thing is that the shadow has a, a hard edge on it and these shadows have a soft edge. So what I'm going to do is blur this by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I have Preview selected so I can see the effect as I move this slider around. So what I'm going to do again is try to match the blurriness of the other shadows. And I think that right around two and a half or three looks pretty good. Yes, and OK. Now the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to clone just a tiny bit of grass to cover the front part of the ball. So to do that, I'm going to select the uh, background and get the clone stamp tool, which is this one right here. I'm going to hover the clone stamp tool over the part of the grass that I want to copy, hold down Alt, click one time to make a sample, let go of Alt, then go back to layer one copy, which is my soccer ball, and just paint a little bit of that grass over the edge of the soccer ball so it looks like it's kind of nestled into the grass. So make sure that you save your changes and turn this in so that you get credit. That's it for this video.